Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is friends and you are watching the tech stream so oneplus again has pushed a new color os 13 close beta update for the oneplus 8 series devices and in this video we are going to review that update so without wasting any more time let's get started so if i go into the about info section you can see that the color os version is 13 which is an android 13 based build the build number is f.04 which is a close beta 2 build and the build number is same for all oneplus 8 8.8 and 8.8 and the android security patches of the September 2022 since this is a closed beta build it is not recommended to install this on your device because if something happens OnePlus will not cover it but still if you want to take that risk and install this build then you need to be on Oxygen OS 11 download the file linked in the description below and do a local upgrade in Oxygen OS 11 this method is not going to work on Oxygen OS 12 so make sure you are on Oxygen OS 11 Comment down if you want me to make a video on how to install ColorOS 13 from Oxygen OS 12. Now let's run some benchmarks on this build. In Geekbench, the device scores 912 in single core and 3056 in multi core, which is a little higher than the last time. Earlier, the scores were 901 and 2902 in multi core. The scores have increased a little bit from the last time. Note that these scores are without the high performance mode. With the high performance mode, the device scores 902 in single core and 2943 in multi core. And again, the scores are almost same in the high performance mode. The CPU. Total up to 79% of its capacity. In the previous build, it was 82%. The scores are pretty much fine, and they don't matter in general day-to-day -day performance of a device. Moving on, the build looks very solid and feels very very fluid. All the animation, app opening, closing, the QoS panel, everything looks very very refreshing and polished. The only little problem with Color OS is that it comes with a lot of bloatware and Chinese apps. But you can remove all the bloatware using the ADB Control application. There is a card to that video if you want to uninstall the apps. But even with the bloatware, the phone feels very fast and snappy now let's quickly talk about the change log of this build all the changes are related to system only the first change log says optimize the stability and fluency in some scenes as i told you earlier the phone does feel amazing but i will give you an update about this in my full review video the next fix is regarding the fingerprint style interface is not fully displayed so i did not face any bugs regarding the fingerprint scanner another fix is around the crash when entering the settings app so again same for this one never face this issue but good that one plus fixed it the next change log is regarding the fix around the slow charging speed since color was 13 i was feeling that my phone was taking a little longer to fully charge somewhere around 50 minutes we'll see if that is fixed properly or not in the full review video and the last change log is the fix file manager crashes when renaming files so now if you rename files in the file manager it will not crash so those were all the changes and fixes from the closed beta 2 build of color was 13 overall the build looks very solid and i faced no major bugs as such but i will keep using this build on my device for a full week and will share my thoughts in the full review video that's all for this one comment down if you want an installation video for color os 13 subscribe to the channel for more tech videos thank you for watching